and uh, I thought I should make a video giving the difference between distance and displacement and just trying to connect that to speed and velocity. So let's go look at the meaning of distance and displacement. What you have in this diagram is a helicopter that is going or flying in a straight line uh, from one point to the other and uh, let's say that it goes from A to B and the distance is 100 meters and it does that in 5 seconds. Now since it's flying in a straight line in this case distance and displacement are the same. Okay, so delta x is the distance as well as the displacement in this case and the time taken is 5 seconds. So how do you find velocity? Velocity is defined as displacement over time. Therefore, it's delta x divided by delta t which is 100 meters divided by 5 seconds that's going to give you 20 meters per second but since velocity is a vector quantity you got to specify the direction and that is given by or shown by to the east so whenever you give velocity you have got to give its direction and in this case velocity is 20 meters per second to the east okay but suppose it flies not in a straight line this time as you can see it, it takes a curved path kind of curved path and surely it's going to be greater than 100 meters and let's say it's 120 meters and it takes six seconds now in this particular case what would the velocity be now think for a second and tell me what is the velocity in this case now to find the velocity you again have to go although it's been flying that way you got to take the straight line distance between the starting point and the finishing point because velocity is displacement over time and displacement is always measured along a straight line from the starting point to the finishing point and therefore the velocity in this case would also be 20 meter per second to the east. Now that must be very clear. But what is the speed? The speed in this case is the distance divided by time. And when you say distance, you're actually measuring along the path that it moved in. So it's 120 meter and it did that in six seconds. Therefore, the speed of this helicopter is 20 meter per second. And notice that there is no direction to go with it because it's a scalar. It has nothing to do with direction. All right, so I hope you understood that. Let me give you another example. This time, this is another helicopter and it's uh, flying in a circular path and it starts from A and is at a point B which is diametrically opposite okay it's right across from a to b and let's uh, the seven meter radius of the circle is too small uh, so let's say it's like 21 meters and i'm going to change that so it goes from a to b and okay let's take the radius as 21 meters and it does that in 10 seconds and you got to find the speed now again what speed speed is distance over time and what is the distance? The distance is the semicircular path from A to B, which is half of the circumference of the circle. And you know, half of the circumference is pi times the radius, because the circumference is 2 pi times the radius, correct? So, in this case, the distance is pi multiplied by the radius divided by time and pi is actually 22 by 7 if you're using a calculator you don't need all this just tap pi into that but you are going to get the answer as 6.6 .6 meter per second so that is the speed and uh, 
You don't have to specify the direction again, but what is the velocity in this case? Take a second to think about that. Now to find the velocity, you got to find displacement, which is measured in a straight line from A to B, and that you know is the diameter of the circle. So the diameter of the circle is 42 meters. Yes, you guess right. It's, it's 42 meters. And therefore, velocity is simply displacement over time, which is 42 meters divided by 10 seconds. And you're going to get 4.2 meter per second. All right, let's write that down. 42 meters divided by 10 seconds, which is 4.2 meter per second. Now, in order to give a direction, let me label this as north, that's south, and east, and west. So, this is kind of southeast, right? Therefore, I can say the velocity is 4.2 meter per second southeast. And then, what if you have another example where you have the object coming back to where it started from and it's moving in a circular path. So, it returns, you know, if it goes in a circular path and returns, as I'm showing here, then what is the velocity? Well, the velocity is now zero because the displacement is zero because it's coming back where it started from. So, velocity is zero because displacement is zero. All right, let's take another case. Uh, there is a ball thrown up from the top of a table and the height of the table is one meter and it starts from the top of the table right there and it goes straight up and comes back straight down along the path that it took. You know, I'm showing it a little separated so you can make out that it's coming down. Uh, what's the displacement in this case? It's starting from here and it's landing down on the floor. So the displacement is not zero because it went further down, because it's further below. The displacement is going to be negative, the height of the table. Okay, that means in this case, the displacement from A to B, from A to B, and remember, all right, that's important. You're measuring from the starting point A to the finishing point B, but you're measuring downwards, aren't you? In this case, the up direction is taken as positive, so the down direction is negative, and therefore the displacement is negative one meter. Okay, and I'm talking about the vertical displacement in this case. All right, next case, let's reverse it. Let's say that the ball starts from the floor so it starts right from the floor, goes all the way up and returns, but this time it lands on the table. And assume that it's not bouncing or rolling off, okay? I know practically that stuff, but just assume that. What's the displacement in this case? Okay, the displacement, it started from here, and now you've got to measure upwards. Aren't you measuring from the starting point to the finishing point? You're measuring upwards, therefore the displacement is plus one meter. Displacement is plus one meter. And with this, I think it's, it's very clear uh, what the distance is and what displacement is. I hope you got the ideas of both these quantities and because they are connected to speed and velocity. Uh, to summarize, distance is a scalar Displacement is a vector, that means it has direction too, and therefore speed is a scalar, and velocity is a vector. That's the big difference between them. Good luck, and I hope you understand this. Do not forget to send me your comments and share it so that we teach the world physics together.